In this example, I'm going to show you how to wear a disguise to get past an NPC. This is very similar to the security robot. Um, and uh, the, so the code's very similar. The concept is very similar. We're going to use a check function. A check is a validity, a validity check on a, a command to see that if, if this should be carried out or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if the player's not wearing the disguise, we're going to stop the player from moving. Uh, so this is done using a check. Uh, so uh, I've added a conference room here and a scientist into in the lab, and I've put a lab coat. Um, well, I actually moved the lab coat into the hallway. So there's a lab coat. We have to wear the lab coat to get past the scientist to get into the conference room. So let's pop over to Lantern and uh, and get going on that. Okay, so here's Lantern, and let me save this. Okay, so... Our scientist is in the lab. I've described the scientist as wearing a white coat. The initial description of the scientist is a scientist is here conducting experiments. Um, NPCs should always have initial descriptions. It just makes the writing a lot better. Um, I've put the lab coat in the hallway and let's make the lab coat portable and make it wearable. So if I run my game now, um, I should be able to go uh, south to the hallway. Oh, there's the robot. I've got to shoot the robot. All right, so if there's a scientist here, West. Uh, okay, so I need to wire up the lab West to the conference room. And the conference room should go East to the lab. There we go, save. All right, um, now if we run this, you should see that um, uh, South uh, where am I? Oh, I'm in the lounge. East, south. Okay. Um, and the robot. Okay. Shoot the robot. Okay. So now that there's a scientist here. I can go west and I can go east. Oh, because I forgot to light the. Uh, um, light that room. So let's. Can I take the coat? Yes. Can I wear the coat? Yes. All right. So if I if I type inventory, it says that the lab coat's being worn, and that all works just if you make something wearable. There's a little wearable bit right there. And then let's make the conference room lit. There we go. Save that. Okay, so let's write some code to um, get the scientists to block us. We, we can't go into the conference room if we're not wearing the lab coat. So let's make a check here. We'll call it check scientist, or we could call it check wearing lab coat or check lab coat. Those are all fine names. So I'm going to add a check function here. And let's say require a disguise to pass an NPC. So let's select that one. Which room is the player leaving? And that is the, the laboratory. Which object does the player need to wear? That would be the lab coat. And which direction is this applying to? So we're trying to go west into the conference room and I will say, uh, okay. So what this says is if the player's in the lab and the lab coat is not being worn, so if the lab coat's worn property is set to zero, then print. Okay, then there's some text here that we probably want to change. And I don't know, the tabbing ended up being really weird there, but whatever. Um, so let's say, the scientist barks, scientist, yeah, it looks right, barks, authorized personnel only. There you go. And uh, otherwise, print, how about the scientist waves, waves, uh, waves you through, sure. Or just, we don't even ha actually have that there. Uh, we don't, I mean, we don't even need this else clause, really. Um, uh, we could say, you know, the site. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, or just the scientist waves at you or something. Whatever. You know, it's your your game. Make it what you want. Bob Rossett. So let's take a look now at the verb west. So if we select the verb west over here, notice that we are doing our scientist check. Every time we go west, we're going to do the scientist check. And we're going to say if the player's in the lab and the player's not wearing the lab coat, then we're gonna print the scientist barks authorized personnel only. Otherwise, you know, the, the scientist waves at you as you, you know, 
as you go into the conference room. So just change the text to, ma to match what you know, your game, or you could even get rid of that completely. That would be fine. So now let's test it out. Test my game. Uh, there's a lab coat here. Take the coat. Wear the coat. You put, you put on the lab coat. Okay, so uh, shoot the robot. The robot sparks and falls to the floor. Okay, let's go south. There's our scientists here. Am I wearing the lab coat? Um, let me drop the coat. The scientist barks, authorized personnel only. Wear coat. You don't have that. Oh, okay. I'll take the coat. Uh, wear the coat. Put on the lab coat, West. The scientist waves as you enter the conference room. Not a very smart scientist, right? But it worked. Uh, conference room. This is a large room with a conference table in the center. Uh, there is an exit to the east. Now, if I've mentioned in this room description that there's a conference table, it says I don't know the word table. So what I should do in this conference room is add a scenery object for that table because maybe I want to put some classified documents on it or something. So I'll add another object and I'll call it a table and I'll make it a supporter. So supporters mean you can put things on them and I'll make it scenery so it's there in the room, but it's not listed. So I, actually, let's, let's uncheck scenery, and I'm going to put the player in the conference room. Where's the conference room? There we go. And run that. Okay, so notice it doesn't say that there's a... Um, where's our table? Um, you don't see that here. Okay, so where where'd my table go? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't put the player. I didn't put the table in the conference room. I put the player in the conference room. All right. So our tables in the conference room, our players in the conference room. And this says this is a large room with a conference table in the center. There's an exit to the east. There's a table here. Right. Um, like, OK, so I've already mentioned that there's a table. I really don't want that description of the table right there. So let's just make the table scenery. And I run this and you can see, OK, so Right, so the table is still there, and I could. Uh, I don't. I don't have the lab coat. Oh, is it? Where it must have left it somewhere else. It's probably in the hallway. Um, so there you go. That's how to um, make an NP. You know, you have to make an. Uh, you need to wear the disguise to get past the NPC. Um, just make a check, and what we're going to do is say, hey, if you're in the particular room. Uh, then make sure you're wearing this, um, otherwise stop. And then this, uh, and then that check needs to get added on to a verb. Now, if, if like later, you know, we, re we, re we change things and instead of going west to the conference room, we go south, we could just remove this check. Uh, wait, actually, that's on the verb west, right? West. See, I could remove that check and now it's not running the scientist check. Now I could, I could say, okay, well, hang on, let's put that on going south. I could put the scientist check on going south. So that's how that that's how that works. Uh, but let's put it back on going west. West. There we go. So that is how to wear a disguise to sneak past an NPC.